If you were always wondering why your PC is running so slow, even after following these PC optimization tips, it might just be that your storage is overflowing. Storage on your PC is essential for systems to create files for it to properly operate, and in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you all of the ways to clean up the storage on your PC. But before we get on with the video, let's have a quick word from our sponsor, Swiftu PDF. Swiftu PDF is a very powerful all-in-one PDF software that allows you to view, create, edit, convert, and manage PDF files very easily. It also has its own AI that can translate, explain, proofread, and also rewrite your PDFs. This app works for Android, iPhone, Windows, and Mac, so it's really open to anyone. To download this app, just click on the link in my description and you can get a free download. Anyways, let's get back into clearing out hundreds of gigabytes on your PC. Let's start off with the basics of it all, clearing out your temporary files and excess cache files. We can start this off by opening up run by searching up run and typing in the letters T-E-M-P to create the word temp. Then click OK and it should open up this folder. Deleting temporary files is a very controversial topic in the PC community as they are kind of unknown that much. However, deleting temporary files are safe and cannot do any internal or physical harm to your PC. Temporary files are automatically created by apps for them to boot up faster and save some excess cache. But after a restart of your PC or a shutdown, usually you can safely clear out the temporary folder without doing any harm to your apps. So just select all or just click on one, then click Control A to select all and then click on delete. After you've deleted everything here, close this and open up run again. This time you can just hold Windows and R, and then this time you want to type in percentage, T-E-M-P percentage. This should open up the other temporary folder under your user. And it should open up this temporary folder where I have already explained what all of these files do, and yes, I'll say it again, it is all safe to delete. Temporary folders are usually automatically deleted by Windows, so they possibly cannot be dangerous to delete. This is just an entrance procedure in this video as some PCs don't have automatic deletion enabled. So let's just clear out this folder and make sure to click do this for all current items before clicking continue or skip. After clearing out that folder, you want to boot up run again and this time you want to be typing in the word prefetch. Prefetch is similar to temporary files in a way, but these generally don't need to be deleted unless you really, really need to clear out space, as if you haven't used your computer for years, there will be less than half a gigabyte of files to delete inside of this folder. Prefetch is also used to boot up apps faster and don't take up that much storage, so leave this step as kind of like a last resort, but you won't need to use this as the upcoming steps will clear up to 100 gigabytes. So finally moving off of run, and these files here, let's move on to the big one. First, you want to open up Windows settings by either holding Windows and I or clicking on the settings menu over here. Once you're in here, the UI might look a little different depending on what version of Windows operation you're using, but click on system and under that, click on storage. And from here, click on cleanup recommendations. And once you're here, I believe Windows 10 doesn't have this, but for Windows 11, click on see advanced options. And here you want to first be really careful of what you're selecting as your downloads folder over here is also an option. Selecting this will download every single thing in your downloads folder including apps and games that you might regularly use. So I usually wouldn't check this unless you know what you're deleting, so just watch out. But basically you would check everything here except for downloads and after select everything you want to delete, click on the remove files button here. This next step was kind of included in the previous step but let's check again as some of these folders could have up to 100 gigabytes. So first open up file Explorer, go to this PC and click on your local disk drive, which should usually be your C drive. Here you can see all of these files, but if you find a folder that says windows.old, you would most likely want to delete that. The windows.old file would be automatically generated if you have updated your operating system from either Windows 10 to 11 and stuff like that. The windows.old folder would keep the old operating system and these folders can be very big. Even on my old PC, I deleted up to 45 gigabytes from just one update. You won't really need the file unless you really want to downgrade or unupgrade your operating system in the future, but I know most of you guys won't want to do that, so go ahead and delete that. For this next step, you want to open up File Explorer again and go back into your local disk C drive. And once you're here, you want to type in either of these three options. 
First, let's start with the first one being size colon large. What this will do is show me every single file on my PC that is under one gigabyte. As you can see, there are a lot of folders on here and make sure to check where the directory is before you delete it as some of these apps might be important. But I know I don't need this video and it is 164 megabytes, so I'll just go ahead and delete this one. Once you do click delete, you'll notice that it doesn't delete even if you spam click it, so just don't do that and make sure to just reload it as it is deleted, it just doesn't update here. I don't know why Windows did that, but it is deleted, so just let it be. Once you do search that, you want to next search up size colon huge. Depending on how many files or how long you had your PC for, this might take a bit of time. Size.huge will show you every file over 1 and under 4 gigabytes. So just double click on a file to check what it is and delete it if you don't need it. As you can see, this one takes up 3.79 gigabytes for an almost 1 hour video and I don't really need this because I already uploaded it, so I could delete this right now. As you can see, it's really not going away from this, but if we just research that again, it will be gone after we search it again. And lastly, type in size colon gigantic, and what this will do will show you every file over 4 gigabytes. It might take a bit of time depending on how many files you have on your PC again, but just click on it, check where it is from, if it's a video, check if it's an important video. But this isn't very important, so I'll just click it and click on delete again. This might take a little bit longer depending on how many files you have on your PC, but just make sure to check where it's from before you delete it. If it's an important file, you definitely don't want to be deleting that. But for me, these are all videos that I've already used, so I can just go ahead and delete all of these files. And once we're done with that, there is one one last thing you can do on your PC to finally clear up everything else. And to do that, open up settings again, then go to system, go to storage, and then you want to make sure that storage sense is enabled. If it's disabled, just enable it again and then click on it to go further into it. Once you're in here, make sure keep Windows running smoothly by automatically cleaning up temporary system and app files is enabled. This is all of the temporary files that we deleted earlier, but as you can see, Windows does give you an option to automatically delete it. So for the third time in this video, it is safe to delete. So make sure you have this selected and down here, you want to click on run storage sense and select every month. And then for deleting files in my recycle bin, just choose 14 days because every month is a bit too long. And 14 days is like a sweet spot as if you do leave a file there and you want it back, 2 weeks is probably enough for you to remember it. Download folder, I do never as 30 days, 60 days, 14 days, and even one day that is bad because I usually keep most of my files and video assets inside of my downloads folder. And if you're like me and have a lot of files in there, just click never, it will save you from a headache. And then if you want to run it again right now, just click on run storage sense now and you can run this and reset everything from today. If you followed every step correctly, you should have freed up a ton of space on your PC. So make sure to comment down below how much storage you have freed and make sure to subscribe and leave a like if this video has helped you out in any way anyways that's it from me make sure to check out these tutorials on screen right now and i'll see you guys next time goodbye guys